Howdy guys, Indie Pixel here. And what I wanted to do in this next series of editor tools videos um, I, is I want to actually build a tool that helps me group objects. So um, I know if you've been building stuff in U Unity for a while, um, it's kind of, you know, tough. Basically, there isn't any functionality that I know of, at least, that allows me to go and just group two objects together. And um, honestly, I do this quite often to organize my scenes. Okay, so um, one thing I want to do is I want to be able to select two objects and then just hit some sort of hotkey combination. And what it'll do is it'll create an empty game object called boxes group or something like that, right? And it'll automatically just parent these guys underneath like so. Okay, so I know it's not like, you know, super crazy technical tool or anything like that. But um, what I'm really trying to do is just focus on all these little tiny tools and just get us used to making editor tools and you know, throughout this whole series, which is just going to be ongoing. Um, we're just going to start making more complex and more complex tools and maybe get into some more um, aesthetics of the editor tools and how you modify the look of all your tools and stuff like that. So we're just going to take some baby steps first. All right. So um, to get things started uh, for this particular tool, uh, what I want to do is I want to go down into my tools that we've been building and create a new folder. And this one's going to be called the object grouper tool, like so. Or it could be called group objects. I'm kind of trying to stick to a naming convention here. Uh, it'll obviously have to change at some point because we're not going to be doing um, stuff with objects all the time, like 3D objects, I mean. So uh, inside of that, we need to create that editor's folder. All right, so that is required to have any editor tool actually work inside of Unity. You need to we'll look into this specific folder here and automatically say, okay, this is going to be an editor type of tool, or I'm going to look at this like an editor script. Okay. So then what we want to do, or at least the first thing that I like to do is create a menu script. So I'm going to say IP for indie pixel. This is going to be object uh, grouper menu. All right. And the reason why I do this is because I basically want to, that was weird. I basically want to um, create a menu for this so that we can actually access the tool. So if you've been watching the previous videos in this series, uh, we do this for every tool that we write and we also attach a hotkey to it. So we'll cover how to do all that stuff if this is the first video you are watching in the series. Okay, so we need to add it to this menu and we do that with the script. And I like to do this uh, because it separates my code uh, from the actual editor code. All right, so I'm going to put this into a namespace called Indie Pixel, and we're going to put it into Tools. All right, and now by putting it in that namespace, it allows us to protect our code from other people's classes that might have the same class name. All right, this just prevents naming convention clashes. All right, so uh, the next thing I want to do is declare a uh, public. So this is the object replace tool here, we want to declare this public static void method with a menu item. And in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to uh, say that we're using the Unity editor namespace. And the reason for that is because menu item, this particular attribute right here, this method attribute, is contained within that namespace. So if we don't declare this, we can't actually see that. All right. So now that we have that namespace in place, we can say a menu item and we can give this a path. Now, the path I've been using is IndiePixel, Level Tools in this case, and then whatever the name of the tool is. All right, so in your case, you might want to you know, add your own, so maybe your own name or your project name or whatever you know, branding name that you have. All right, so you can add whatever you want, and this is going to be the object grouper. All right, so uh, we'll get in the hotkey here in just a second. So at this point, now I want to declare a public uh, static void, and we're going to just call this uh, launch object grouper. All right, because this method is going to be the method uh, that gets fired off right when we click this particular menu item. All right, so to test that, let's just do this here really quick. We'll do a debug log, and we'll say uh, launching object grouper. I always got to put the exclamation mark in there because it just means I'm serious, serious business. All right. So I'm going to let that compile 
and we're going to go to IndiePixel now and we'll go to Level Tools and there we go. We have our Object Grouper and if I click this, you can see in the console, it says Launching Object Grouper. So we are working. So we're firing off that method and any logic that's contained within that method. Okay, so uh, let's go and um, get the editor script up and rolling. Okay, so these little mini tools, as I like to call them, usually have this kind of format, or at least when I'm developing them. Um, I create a menu script and then an editor script. Okay, so let's go and actually create the editor script for this. And this is going to contain the code that actually displays the window and all the UI. Uh, oh, I didn't want to create a folder all the UI that um, is for the tool itself. This will allow us to input like a group name um, or other features. So let's add a new C sharp script. We're going to say IP uh, object grouper. We'll say editor. All right. And we'll say, yeah. And it keeps launching Visual Studio when I do that. So weird. Literally just started happening today. Okay. So again, we're going to put this into the namespace. Okay, so whatever namespace you're using, and honestly, you don't have to use a namespace. I just like doing that because it uh, is clean, it's a good practice to get into, and um, it protects your code. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is add a C-sharp region, and these are useful just to organize your code. So these are going to be all my variables that we have, if we have any. Uh, we will, actually. So, and then we'll do the um, built-in methods. All right, like so. And then we'll do our custom methods, like so. All right. OK, so in order for this to actually display a window inside of Unity, an editor window, OK, what we need to do is we definitely need to be using the Unity editor namespace, because that contains all that, all the classes, all the code that is required to draw something inside of Unity. And then we have to make this particular class inherit not from mono behavior, but from an editor window. All right, so that's how we get an editor window to pop open. And again, this is a lot of review if you've been watching the, the series so far. Just want to make sure I save this here. Okay. And now what we do in terms of launching the actual editor window is we come in here and we create a public uh, static void. We'll call this launch grouper window or something like that. You can call it whatever you want, really. Like so. And let's just do a debug log here just to get the point across. So we're going to say launching editor. OK. So now if I go back to my uh, object grouper menu over here, OK, and we come in here and we say IP uh, object grouper editor dot uh, launch grouper window. And the reason why we can do that is because we made the method over here static. All right. So this basically, there's just one instance of this particular method. And you can automatically see it in the script itself without having to like instantiate the script or anything like that and store it in memory. So this allows us to actually see that menu, which then, uh, if we have done everything correct, will display this in the console. Okay. All right. I'm going to come up here and we'll say object grouper. And boom, we have launching editor. Perfect. Okay, so with that, we are pretty much good to go. I'm going to close the video out there. And in the next video, uh, we're going to go and get the window actually drawing inside of the editor. Okay, thanks so much.